With so many people expected in Oregon for the eclipse, it's not hard to imagine the traffic nightmare that could come along with it. Christine Pitawanich is live at Salem Hospital. Christine, you spoke with the emergency responders today who are issuing a warning. Joe Laurel, they want folks to know that if there's an emergency and if they call 911, it could take emergency crews longer to get to those people and potentially longer to get them to the hospital. In two weeks time, it could be difficult to get these supplies to people who need them. But we've been planning together with um, partners at Salem Health and at Salem Fire Department for months. For months, talking about the roughly million people expected in Oregon for the eclipse. It could be a nightmare for emergency crews. The concern uh, mainly right now is an increase in call volume, a lot more than what we would normally see um, anywhere from 40% up to maybe 50% more calls than normal. Jennifer Pratt with Falk Northwest, an ambulance company operating in Salem, says she's also worried about traffic congestion and delays. Usually our response times are 12 minutes or less uh, in our response area. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if people wait up to double that. Pratt says she's already mapped out a contingency plan from each corner of the city to the hospital. And it's not just emergency crews in Salem preparing. We've actually started to look at uh, creating lists of extra employees. Staff at Metro West, an ambulance service in Washington County, ready to send help to the coast and other areas if necessary. It really depends on what actually happened. So we always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. The possible delays have people at care facilities all over worried, especially if there's a medical emergency. Anything that people when people are in, in danger, that concerns me. Taking care of 95 year olds, 100 year olds can be pretty scary when you need help right away. While everyone else is gearing up to add extra staff, folks at Willamette Valley Hospice are staying out of the office. We have people located strategically on call throughout our service area. Ready to respond for in-home care whenever they're needed. But like emergency crews, it may take a while. And that's why emergency crews tell me it is always a good idea to be prepared with a first aid kit, maybe some water and some food as well. Some first responders are actually packing up some air mattresses, maybe a sleeping bag in case they won't be able to get around on gridlocked roads. As for air support, emergency crews tell me they expect that there will be additional helicopters at the ready strategically placed just in case.